Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Love Love Tuts, and in this video, we're gonna create our very first element. Now, this thing isn't going to be super crazy. It's gonna be a hello world tag. We're gonna drop it in. It's gonna output hello world, and that's pretty much it. So nothing super fancy, but it's your first time creating your own custom web component, your own custom element. So let's get started right now. So now let's actually create our own element. We have the, the pieces in place now. Now we can actually get coding and have a unique element that we've created ourselves. So let's go ahead and make a new folder in the root of our project. And it's going to be named just elements. And this is really just to keep your individual elements separate from your project. Um, the name of the folder doesn't really matter. You can name it whatever you like. Elements makes most sense to me. And we're gonna have a new file. And let's just save this as the name of what our element is going to be. So we can just have this element be hello world. And it's going to be .html. Okay, now we have our hello world.html file. Now, what do we need to have in this hello world.html file? We don't need a doc type, we don't need a head, we don't need any of that stuff, but what we do need is to bring in this polymer.html file. So the command for that is just a link tag, and then inside here, uh, we have an import rel, and then for our href, the path is going to be into Bower Components Polymer, and then polymer.html, you can see the file right here. Okay, so our hello world is going to contain a link tag where we link up this polymer.html. And now we want to actually create a element tag for our hello world element. We can do this by using the polymer element tag and we can say bracket of uh, polymer hyphen element. And then uh, we're going to give it a name property. The name property is going to be equal to the name of our element. In this case, it's hello hyphen world. And we're going to add a no script tag here at the end. Notice how uh, Sublime Text automatically closes this here and we can have polymer hyphen element. Okay, so everything's looking pretty good. Now that we have this polymer element inside of here, we need a template tag. And for this basic example, some of these things like polymer element and template, they might not seem sort of obvious, but once we get into more complex elements that are taking data and, and have their own custom CSS and stuff like that, you're, it's gonna make a lot more sense. Okay, so we just have a polymer element and then template, and inside of template is going to be actual uh, HTML that's going to be output using our custom element. So we can just have a, uh, let's just have this be an H1 and it's going to say, hello world. Just like that. The standard hello world example, anytime we use this element, it's gonna just drop in an H1 that says hello world. Nothing super important, but it's gonna open up the world of custom elements to us. And really web components are really the future of the web. Just think about being able to share something like a Google map element where you pass it in a longitude and a latitude and automatically loads the Google Maps API and finds your map in the right spot. And you don't have to go copying and pasting in a whole bunch of embed code or something like that. I really think that uh, web components are just incredible and I can't wait until it's the standard across the web. So we have our hello world tag here. We have our template and we're ready to get started using this in our project. A quick comment about this no script tag this is just saying that uh, this particular element is not using any JavaScript. So if your element is using JavaScript, you're not gonna wanna include this no script, but because this is not using any JavaScript, we want to include that so that it loads correctly. So let's go ahead and come back to our index.html. We have our hello world.html, it exists, but uh, our web page is, is only loading Polymer, it's not loading our new element yet. So how do we load this new element? Well, we can use a link tag. So we're going to say link, and the relation here is not going to be a style sheet. It's going to be import, and the href is going to be in elements slash uh, hello world. HTML. So we're loading in 
our new element that exists right here with the a link tag here. And now let's check out some magic here. Now we're going to use our new element. And it's just going to say hello hyphen world. And what's great about Sublime is that it automatically closes your elements when you hit uh, forward slash because regardless if it knows it's a real element or not. So that's great. We have our hello world here. And now if we load this page up, we should be seeing uh, hello world be output on the screen. So let's go ahead and open this up in a browser. Now keep in mind for this to work, we actually need to be running this as a basic HTTP server. So if you're using something like MAMP or uh, Apache on your computer, you can go ahead and do that. However, to get a quick server up and going, uh, the Polymer documentation actually has a one-liner into command line to get a simple Python server up and running. So since I know we have a version of two point something, I think it's 2.7 on my computer, um, I'll, I'll link to the page that has this content on it so you can see if you have a different version of Python. But I can just type in uh, Python hyphen M and then simple HTTP server just like that. Let's actually bump up the size of this so you can see it better. Okay, now this is going to just start a simple server on our local host here. And you can see it's listening on port 8000. So now let's check out Chrome. Going to localhost port 8000, we now get a hello world. Um, and it's, <laughs> I didn't realize this, but I spelled it wrong at some point. So let's actually come back into Sublime Text and <laughs> fix that. Okay, perfect. Um, keep in mind, it's actually going into our HTML. It's seeing this custom element, grabbing that custom element, and then outputting it on the page. What's great is that now we can reuse this pro this element over and over again. Every single time we include it, we'll get a new hello world. Okay, so now this seems really super basic and unnecessary, but once we get adding the ability to have custom attributes and stuff in your custom elements that maybe respond to JavaScript or responds maybe just outputting some different HTML, maybe it's responding to your styles and outputting some different CSS classes or things like that, it, Polymer gets really super powerful. So we now have our very first custom element. It's incredible. This is the feature right here. So get working with Polymer, test it out, and we're gonna get into some more custom element stuff in the very near future and get working on some really interesting projects. And in later videos, we're gonna discuss exactly when and where you can use Polymer right now, uh, what the status of it is, where it's going, and everything like that. So that way you can get uh, a clear idea about what projects you can and can't use Polymer on. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video, hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tuts. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.